Good morning and welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I'm in the garden and we're going out into the garden today to harvest some seeds. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to harvest several different plant varieties. So we're going to do some lettuce seeds. We're going to do some blue seed holly. We're going to do some bachelor button seeds. A lot of you ask me about seed saving and I'm so thrilled that you all are motivated to save seed. It's really important that you think about saving seed and what varieties you choose to save seed from. Depending on what you have growing on in your garden, you may want to save the seeds from those particular plants and varieties. So today we have some things that I see that are definitely ready. I've let go to seed and I'm going to save some seed today. So come on with me. I'm going to show you how we're going to save the seeds. Here we have a beautiful patch of blue bachelor buttons and they are ready for harvest. So I have several paper sacks here and I have them all labeled up. And um, the other thing I have are my little trusty little cutting um, nippers or shears. And they're really easy to tell what the seeds are. I've showed you all a couple of times in videos what to look for. So here's one here. And you can tell this one is ready. It's opening up and it's starting to, it's really going to drop its seeds. That's what they do. They self-sow and they'll drop their own seeds back into the garden. So when you get those freebie plants in your garden, that's generally what has happened. So here they are. They look like little rockets or parachutes or something. So cool. Um, and then I'm just going to grab up as many as I can that I want to harvest for planting. So now on to the lettuce seeds. We're gonna go harvest those next. And I find that um, the lettuce seeds are pretty easy uh, to harvest. And yes, you need to wait until they dry out. All of your seeds you need to dry out and they shouldn't be green at all. They should all be um, brown and um, dry. Good dry seeds are good for storage. So, um, just for those that are asking about should they dry out should i let them dry out and they're not drying out just make sure you let allow them to dry out um, in the sun if they're really ripe or let them dry out on the plant what i'd like to do is i like to keep them on the plant and allow them to dry out on the plant for as long as i possibly can so once i see that the seeds are completely dried out on the plant um then i'm ready to harvest the seed and that's just the way i like to do it i like to make sure that um, the seed is fully developed um, that it's formed all of its parts for germination and that's a really good thing to consider and think about when you get ready to harvest seed so let's take a look at some of these that i have right here so here i have some lettuce seeds and this is what the top of the plant looks like once it has flowered and formed its seed pods and dried out, okay? And um, I pull these, actually pull the whole plant out, see? Because once the lettuce goes to seed, it won't form more lettuce after that. It's, it's pretty much done. So this is the salad bowl, uh, salad bowl lettuce. And you know, it's good to keep up with what varieties you're planting and where they are so that's what the journaling is good for really keeping a kind of a good log or a good journal where did you plant these things and what did you plant so on the lettuce there are these little tiny balls that form at the top here and let's see if i can show you these little tiny balls that form on the top and what I like to do is just crack them open and 
just remove the seed from the shaft that is what the lettuce seeds look like so really tiny seeds So you just harvested your seeds and you're wondering, are they ready for planting? Can you plant these seeds right away? Yes, you can. That is the beauty of seed saving. Once you've dried these seeds out and you have, they have properly ripened, they are ready to go, they've dried out, they are ready for planting again. You can definitely sow these seeds and they will germinate. They will be ready to plant. So. Am I going to sow these seeds? Yes, I am. I'm going to sow more seeds. I have another plant of seeds that I harvested yesterday from my, um, what is it called? It's a red variety of lettuce. Um, so I saved seeds from that one as well. So yep, they're ready for planting. All right, guys, so let's go on over and we're going to harvest some blue sea holly next. All right, to harvest this blue sea holly, I'm going to put on my gardening gloves because the blue sea holly is kind of prickly and I don't like the way it feels on my hands. So protect your hands and make sure you put on your garden gloves when you need to. All right, so here's my blue sea holly and it has elbowed, which is, which I mean, it's just, it is bent over to the side. There was a storm that came through and I didn't realize it was laying down on its side and it started to bend up towards the sun. Um, when I stood it back up, that's the bottom of the plant there. This one didn't shoot off a bloom this season, so it'll probably do it next season, but this one did. So it takes a, once you plant the blue sea holly, most perennials take a, a whole season, a year to bloom. This one did. It stayed in my garden for a year and this particular plant bloomed this season. The other one though down there, it did not. All right, so these are the seed heads here. And we have several that are ready for harvest, nice and dry. All right, guys, so here we are. And I mean, my goodness, to get in here, I have to step on my oregano. So, so here we are, we're at the Blue Sea Holly. I got my bag ready over here. And I'm just going to cut. I'm not going to cut the, the other ones yet until they're ready. I'm only going to cut off the really dry ones. Just those that are really dry. This is a medicinal plant, so adding it in your garden is not only beautiful, but it has health benefits as well. So that's why I added it to my herb garden. So there we go, there are my seed heads. All right, so those are my seed heads. Now let's open up the seed. Oh, they're, they're already falling on my gloves. So let me show you before. Oh, they're gonna fall everywhere, y'all. I'm not mad. This one has the little fuzzy shoots on the end. They're good for wind, wind traveling, I should say. Some, this one's wet, I'm gonna use a dry one. So when it, the wind picks it up, you can fly all over the garden and just land wherever nature takes it. It's a lot of seeds, isn't it? Oh my gosh, probably thousands of seeds, right? All right, so let's take a look. All right, and that is what the seeds look like for the Blue Sea Holly. I'm going to take them and put them over in my paper sack for storing. And you can also store them in like um, a seed packet or something like that. Put the label on it, put the year on it, and you'll be good to go. Okay, another really prickly seed that I'm about to harvest is the Forget-Me-Not seed. And the Forget-Me-Not is a beautiful blue bloom when it blooms in the spring um so it's so pretty to add to your garden but let me tell you something this bad boy it is so sticky it clings onto everything so you may not want to wear gloves on this one because it's going to stick on everything and i'm going to show you what i mean right now all right guys so here it is here are those here are those cute, adorable little blooms, and they are so pretty when they are in bloom. And this entire bed is just covered with these blue 
dainty blooms and I use them in my cut flower arrangements also but these are the seed heads see the seed pots there so that's what they look like and those little bad boys stick on to everything so this is an example of when your seeds are not ready these are the actual seed pods and the seeds are forming in there but they are not ready for harvest so they have not completed their cycle and these have nice and dry completely finished their processing cycle and they are ready for harvest okay let me show you what i mean when i say they'll stick on to everything so here's my glove if i barely touch them they stick onto my gloves <laughs> and that is so annoying oh my goodness i cannot stand it so they'll grab onto your socks they'll grab onto your sweater they'll grab onto everything so when you're harvesting them just be mindful of that and stay back from them and just try to harvest them with your hands just like this and they stick into my hand but that is what they look like i just take them and i just pull them straight up and there we go to mention that they self seed very easily they will sow themselves all over your garden so just be mindful of that a lot of these plants will i have grass in here but a lot of these plants will do that they'll just kind of self seed themselves all over your garden some of them are considered wildflowers and that's what wildflowers will do um, so you can just keep that in mind too. Make sure you're planting them in a place where you don't mind them to self-seed. Um, I will be kind of revamping this area and redoing this. And I took out my borders that I had in here because I'm redoing my garden. But um, I am going to plant these in a different area as well. All right, guys. So I've given you about five varieties of different seeds that we can save. And I'm going to show you one more. So we're going to do the Bells of Ireland and I'm going to show you what the Bells of Ireland seed looks like and what the plant looks like as well. Come on, let's go. All right, guys. So here we are in my sweet potato bed. I planted this whole bed with Bells of Ireland last season. And um, this is what the plant looks like when it's in its younger smaller state this one was huge this one was the largest one that i've ever grown so this is what it looks like when it's all dried out and the seeds are ready they're being stored inside of these little bales like they little bales and these are like little paper sacks here it's really cool but more than likely i have tons of seeds that have dropped out of here that are inside of here i'm going to give you a closer look so what I want to do is just cut off the, ooh, they're dropping out, the actual little um, branch that came off of this plant here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like closer. All right, so I just brought them over here to my little table here. And I'm definitely going to wear gloves when I'm harvesting these because when they start forming their seeds, they get these little thorns underneath here. Ooh. So they're saying stay back i want to reseed <laughs> they're protecting themselves okay so inside of each little bell are the seeds but maybe easy to just rip open the little bell and there are your seeds right there okay bells are on the seeds all right guys so that's it that's how you harvest your vegetable seeds as we harvested lettuce today, herbs, the blue sea holly, and some wildflower seeds as well. I have some other seed harvesting videos coming up for you guys, and as they become ready, I'll make sure I get them out for you. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something today, and make sure you save seed and harvest your seed. Let some of your plants, let some of them go to seed. Why not? Why not? That's how you, you know, kind of up your um, seed collection and your seed bank and I work on my seed bank 
on a daily basis trying to decide which varieties are good and for me to save and which heirloom varieties are amazing for me to save seed from and harvest as well so i want to encourage you today to get out there and save seed and we we'll look out for those other videos that i have coming out for you guys i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you like it and i hope you do subscribe if you're new and share the video if you want to and i'll see you all on the next video love you guys happy gardening Bye.